I'm here in the greenhouse today with Jessie, and I'm looking at her boots. They're very garden-oriented boots. I don't know, are these frogs or are they... Ladybugs. No, ladybugs, of course. <laughs> the last ones were frogs. That's right. Yeah. And uh, Jessie's visiting us today from UBC in geography, and she's asking us questions about composting. Sorry. Tell us about your project briefly. Okay, well, we're working on an extension of an urban agriculture project. Um, and we're looking specifically at composting in the city and sort of doing a comparison between backyard composting, worm composting, and large-scale projects uh, like some of the pilot projects in Toronto. That's our project in a nutshell. And you gave us a lot of good questions today. <laughs> um, what are you going to take back, uh, general impression about compost to, to them? Do you have anything that you learned from us or not? I think the oh. biggest thing that I've learned here is just how important education is. and that you can't, you can't twist somebody's arm and make them enjoy composting, but just basically point it to them the benefits, whether, whether it's, you know, a healthy garden or even just, you know, physically healthy because it's a stress buster. I think that's really important and it's, you know, something that I think will catch on in the future. Hopefully it's, I'm trying to remain optimistic. <laughs> and Jesse, now you come from um, a farming background, which, you know, we don't see too often in the urban center. Just a little brief background on how you grew up. Or where you grew up? Right. I grew up in rural Ontario in a small French community called La Fontaine. It's uh, on Georgian Bay, sort of a couple hours north of Toronto, far enough away that there's no nobody near us, really. Um, we have an organic apple orchard, and um, we grow our own vegetables as well. What about composting? Did you compost we as a youngster? composted my whole life, so um, yeah, I'm not well versed in the topic, but I'm certainly familiar with the importance of it. and. Uh, I definitely appreciate it. Well, you're a perfect person to be doing the project. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me.